So for this tutorial, you will need a glue gun, black and blue felt, scissors, gems, a ribbon, and mask. So you taking the sleeping mask that you already have, use it as a way to trace out the black felt to fit your mask shape and then cut it out. This really helps create a guideline and it's really, really important that you have that shape. So once you have it cut out, just fold it in half and fold the blue felt in half as well and place the black felt on top and cut it out and this will help give you a guideline. If you can't make them identical, that's okay. Just make sure that the blue felt is a little bigger than the black felt. So you don't have to do this step, but I actually bought Tiffany blue fabric, which I cut out to fit the shape to make it more identical to the Audrey Hepburn mask, and I just glued together the three layers. If you only have two layers, that's fine. Just hot glue them on top of each other and make sure the blue is on top. Now we can move on to the next step, which is the gems. So all you have to do is hot glue two gems on top of each other to make them really pop up and cut out two little fake eyelids. And now we're going to work on the circumference of the mask, which is a gold ribbon. And I will actually have an image of the mask linked down below for you guys so you have it on hand. But it's really simple. You just need to hot glue it and work really slowly so that it could like mold its way and shift and not just look really strange and push the fabric together so it's just important to go slow and be patient now it is time to move on to the eyes so this is definitely the most intricate part of the mask so what i did was just stuck on some false eyelashes and then used a gold ribbon to secure it and also add the look of gold lashes like audrey had in her costume and the gems really help make this look pop up so all you have to do is hot glue it on top of the gems and just make sure you keep the shape of a round eye and not flatten it for the eyebrows this was definitely the hardest part for me she had like a little tiny gold ribbon I did not have that and I could not find anything close to that so I went with the whole draw on your eyebrows method with some white eyeliner from NYX and gold shadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I just went with my gut and it turned out looking pretty cute. For the last part of the costume, all you have to do is tie a ribbon in the back by hot gluing it and then just tying it to your head. For the beautiful tasseled earplugs, all you need is earplugs. I got mine for 99 cents and just exacto knife a piece out so that you can fit your tassel in. I got my tassels at Michael's for like $1.99 so it was super affordable and I hot glued it it into the earplugs and it turned out looking exactly how I wanted it to. For her costume, all you need is a white oversized shirt. I got mine at a thrift shop and then I put the pieces together and it was so so simple. I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it on Twitter if you want, and be sure to leave a comment and we can talk in the comment section. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! The mean reds are horrible. Suddenly you're afraid and you don't know what you're afraid of. Do you ever get that feeling? Well, when I get it, the best thing to do is to jump in a cab and go to Tiffany's. It calms me down right away. The quietness and the proud look of it. Nothing really bad could happen to you there.